For this challenge, I chose the M6 GT3 car. I also went and purchased the high RPM turbocharger. In addition to the racing heavy wet tires. You can probably get away with the intermediates, but I chose the full wets. Make sure to change your tires to racing hards before you start. At the start of this race, you're just going to go about it like you would any other race. Similar to Sabuka, around lap 3 it's going to start to get dark and rainy. So at this point you might need to begin to alter your driving style just a little bit. I made the decision at the end of lap 4 to box for wet tyres. Obviously, depending on how much fuel you have left and the weather, you might want to stay out or you might want to box a little bit earlier. As you can see now, the track is starting to get really wet and there's no clear visible racing line. Obviously it's your call whether you feel intermediates or wets are the best tyres for these conditions but as you can tell we are catching up to the AI in front which are really struggling on their dry tyres. As you can see the AI are now boxing and they're going on to intermediate tyres. Again this is personal preference whether you prefer to go on to intermediates or the wets like I am. What I found was the best strategy was to avoid the dry racing line and go for the wet racing line instead. I found that I had more grip and was able to get a lot more speed to catch up to the front runners. We're now on to lap 8 and just over 9 minutes in and we've caught up to the front runner who is on intermediate tyres but as you can tell there's now a clear dry line on track and it will be soon time to switch over to dry tyres. This means that the AI that are around us on intermediate tyres will have an advantage for a short time until we box. So we're about halfway through lap 10 and as you can see the car in the third place has really crept up on us. Uh, which proves how slow we are going on these wet tyres. So now I think is a good time to change for hards. Now on a dry compound it's now really important for us to stay on the dry racing line as much as possible otherwise we are really going to struggle. And because I didn't listen to my own advice just there we ended up picking up a three second slowdown penalty.
what I would advise that you do that I didn't is to stick your information screen, which mine currently has the fuel map on, I would keep that on the weather. And just so you're aware of when it does start to rain, because I wasn't aware that rain was coming again. And as you're about to witness, it turned into a very messy 45 seconds. With my lesson now learned, I'm now keeping it on the weather radar for the rest of the race, just to monitor and see what's going on. Again, we're sticking to the wetter racing line for better grip. Because we're sticking to the wetter racing line, we are able to overtake the car in first place. Although they are being held up by a bat marker, we'll still take it anyway. As you can see from the weather radar, there is a huge patch of dry weather now coming in, meaning the track will dry out for the end of the race. We're now into the dry patch of weather, so now it's really important to stick to the wet line as much as possible just to preserve some of that speed and grip that we were talking about before. So on the end of lap 18, with about six and a half minutes to go, I decided to box for my final pit stop and put on some racing hard tyres, refuel and get ready to go until the end. As we're coming towards the end of the race, we've just done a 1 minute 11 and there is 1 minute 18 left in the race, so that means we've got a delta of about 7 seconds. So for the end of the race, I simply just backed off, slowed down a little bit, and as you can see, we've got about 5 seconds before the checkered flag is shown so we slow down wait till it's shown and then we finish the race <laughs> <laughs> 